Hello, 3D printer peeps. Hello, Creality users. Hello, K1 Max owners. I'm here with the Creality K1 Max, and today we are going to turn it on for the first time, set it up, connect it to Creality Cloud, and run our very first test print. The first thing we are going to do is plug it in. In the back, on the bottom right, look for this red switch. 1 equals on, 0 equals off. Look for this port. We will plug it in with this cable. It only fits one way. Go ahead and do that. Then plug it in and turn it on. Your K1 Max will come to life and you will wait out the machine startup screen before being prompted to select your language. I'm going to choose English, which is default, so we'll press next. The machine will remind you to remove the screws on your print bed. You already did this, press OK. And welcome to Creality 3D Printer. So make sure there's nothing in your printer and press OK. What you are looking at here is a QR code. When adding a new printer in Creality, it will open your camera and scan this code in order to communicate with the printer and bind the printer to your Creality Cloud account. We will open Creality Cloud. We will click on Workbench and the plus symbol in the top right hand corner of the screen. Choose Add Device. Click on K1 Max. Check the little circle and press Next. Press Next again. The camera will open. Go ahead and hover it over the QR code and name your machine. I'm going to name it Big Hero Max and we'll choose Finish. You will then see Big Hero Max is now added to your Creality Cloud account. Press Next and your printer will begin the self-check process. Touch Start Detecting. Setup complete. Press OK. Now that setup on your K1 Max is complete, you will notice a surprise. One last piece of protective foam padding under the hot plate. Go ahead and discard that now. And your machine may immediately prompt you for a firmware update. Go ahead and press download. I know some of you are hesitant to install firmware updates, but it's likely your machine is far behind. And with all the new toys in these new printers, I would go ahead and get that firmware going. Please don't worry if it hangs on the Creality logo for a while. This first boot after the update may take some time. Alrighty, here we are. We can go ahead and print from Creality Cloud, or we can stick the USB thumb drive that came with the machine into the USB port on the machine and print a test file from there. I'll recommend you go ahead and do that for your first print. Your Max should have your machine should have came with a USB thumb drive that looks something like this. If it has a cover, remove that cover and stick the thumb drive in the machine. It will only fit one way. Please do not force it. Creality is recommending glue stick on this bed. I will use the included glue stick. Any glue stick should be sufficient. I'm simply going to make a light pass over the general area where the first test print is gonna be. You can see from here, it's a very light coating of glue. We are not gluing your children's arts and crafts project. This is a very light coat of glue. Since I am in a warm, draft-free environment and we are working with PLA, I will leave the door open for the test print. However, we can't print our first test print without filament. Let's load our first roll of filament, the white Hyper Series PLA that was included with your K1 Max. Remove the filament from the bag, free it from any attachment, and do not let go of it. We don't want this springing back and creating a knot. Use the clippers that came with the machine and clip a fresh cut of your filament. I'm not concerned with angles or any of that nonsense. 
just clip it. When putting the filament on the spool, the correct method, much like toilet paper, is over the top, not under the bottom. So with the filament coming over the top, we will now grab the tube and load the filament into the tube, pushing it until it stops. Gently feeding it one or two inches at a time until it stops. Don't just be grabbing it from the back and jamming it up because you might snap the filament and end up with a problem. Once you feel it stop, give it a little more pressure until it goes a little further and you'll feel it stop again. Now you're at the hot end. If you are uncertain, take the lid off your printer. Take this switch here on your extruder and switch it to unlock. Then you can push the filament a little bit further to be sure it's all the way down to the hot end. You can even wiggle it back and forth to make sure. Once you're sure, you may lock it again. Now it's time to load that filament. Press on the hamburger, press extrude retract, and press extrude. This will heat the hot end and purge some filament from the nozzle so you will be sure your filament is loaded correctly, working, and well primed. You can see how quickly the K1 Max heats its hot end. When the heating is complete, the menu will switch from nozzle heating to extruding. And you should visibly see PLA coming from the nozzle. Here you can see extruding is highlighted. The hot end is pooping, and that is a good sign that your filament has been loaded successfully and you have a well-primed hot end. When it's done, your screen will say finished. You can simply pinch that and discard it. Be careful not to start the extrude process all over again. Go ahead and press home. And now would be a good time to turn the light on your K1 Max. Press the light bulb button and you will see the K1 Max lights turn on. Press it again to turn them off. We do have some fancy features on our K1 Max using the AI camera that you can choose to use or not to use. To access them, press the gear button and press function. In there, you will see AI detection is turned on. You can also turn on this feature that will detect whether or not your first layer is acceptable or has failed. If it has failed, it will pause the print. You simply press that button right there. It will slide to blue. It is now on. When working with Creality Print, you can turn on Motion Advance. These features may change over time. To learn more about them, reference the Creality Wiki. I'm going to leave all these features turned on just for fun and press the back button. Now you can click into camera settings and you'll see that you have an option here for time-lapse photography. With this feature turned on, your K1 Max will create a time-lapse of all your prints. Those of you working with Creality Cloud will have the option to turn it on or off within the app. I am going to leave it turned on. From here, there is one more setting you should check out. Go ahead and press the settings button again, touch on system and look right here to screen off. Mine is defaulted to three minutes. I think that's a little short. I'm going to go ahead and set it to five minutes, or you can set it to no setting, which means the screen will never turn off. And there are your usual variety of settings and information. Go back home, and now we are ready to start our first test print. We will be using the test model on the supplied USB memory stick, which you installed earlier. To access that file, we will press the folder icon. You will notice the K1 Max has several models installed on it already. Or you can press USB drive and see what kind of files are in there. You will see it's the same files. You may choose to print from the USB or the K1 Max. I will print from the USB drive since we are here by touching the Benchy. You will see these are the settings that the Benchy wants to use for printing. It will use a print bed of 50 degrees a nozzle temp of 210, and it estimates it will take 16 minutes to print. If you would like your K1 Max to calibrate before printing, leave this box checked. It is checked by default. We just did the calibration, so I am going to uncheck it and press print. I would not press the calibration again unless your print shows a need to. It is now going to move the file 
from the USB memory card to the K1's storage. On the screen, you can see some useful information. This is the nozzle temp. On the right is the set temp. On the left is the current temp. You can see how fast this printer heats. Under that is the bed temperature. On the left is the current bed temperature. On the right is what the bed temperature is set at. Underneath that is the chamber temperature, whether or not the fan is on or not, whether or not the light is on or not, and a stop or pause button. You will then see the current print time and current remaining print time and percentage underneath the thumbnail of the model on the area to the left. It is normal for your machine to go through a setup routine even with calibration turned off. The K1 Max should now create a time-lapse video of this print using the pre-installed AI camera. Keep in mind we will be printing with the door open to avoid excess heat inside the printer chamber. During this print, you may also monitor your K1 Max using the Creality Cloud app or CreatityCloud.com. Go to your workbench, look for your machine, mine is called Big Hero Max, and click on that. In there, you will see the video feed and all the current progress of your print. Please note, there is a protective film on your camera. Go ahead and peel that off. Here is the video feed of the K1 Max using the Creality Cloud app. Looking at the app, you can see the layer you are on. You can see the print percentage, how long it's been printing, how much time remains, and the temperature of the machine, the hot end, and the print bed. All of this is also available again on CreatityCloud.com. And here you can see on Creality Cloud, I got a notification that my printing is completed. Just press close and you will return to your workbench. Since we did not start the print from Creality Cloud, instead we started it from the printer itself, the time-lapse file will be on the printer and we will need to export it. To find it, click on the gear, click on video list, and you will see your time-lapse files in there. Here is our Benchy. Touch on that and touch export. Once the export has completed, you may receive a message that says export failed. However, the export likely succeeded. Go ahead and check your USB thumb drive for that time-lapse file. And there you have it, our very first test print on the Creality K1 Max 3D printer. It came pretty darn nice. However, I'm not a fan of pre-sliced G-code files, and I recommend testing your printer using your own model of your own choice and your own slicer settings. However, the setup of this printer is very easy. Our first test print went very well, and the future looks bright for the Creality K1 Max. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, and setting up the brand new Creality K1 Max with today's adventure. Hey.